Hey guys, it's Todd Robin again from the Super Tolentino family. Today I will just show you uh, three pairs of uh, shoes that my wife uh, actually gave me a month ago. I really haven't opened them, so um, today is a day. And obviously you can see these are all um, Air Jordan shoes. I'll show you the first one. This one is called the Air Jordan Legacy 312 Low. And then the next one is Air Jordan 1 Mid and the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE right there. So these are three new pairs of shoes that my wife gave me a month ago. I think that was for Christmas but I never get to open them obviously. And I also have this Superman uh, maquette uh, Twitter head collectible that's still in uh, its original packaging. And I'll show you a video one day. So let's start with this guy, Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. Well, SE just stands for Special Edition. Uh, so it's a special edition shoes, which are often, you know, unique designs and collaborations that celebrate an occasion, commemorate an event, or uh, like creativity to particular people. SE shoes are generally more expensive and rarer than regular sneakers and are only available for a set time frame so there you go this is the the air jordan one mid se as you can see that's my size right there it also comes with um what do you call this again like a, it's not a barcode um like something you can scan and then you can see the stitching here. Oh no, it's not the stitching. It's actually embossed. The Air Jordan logo right there. And of course the swoosh. And it's got double stitching there. And it's got the unique green colored lace with the yellow tips. And of course you see the Jumpman logo right there. And there you go. Really nice, huh? I mean, you know, this is the sole. Right there, guys. So, this is the uh, Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. I just wanted to uh, make a video even before, uh, before I even wear them. And this is actually nicely designed right there. I'll just got one sec. There you go. I took it out from the box, guys. So, uh, this, you know, Air Jordan 1 Mid SE actually draws inspiration from the iconic Air Jordan 1. The Air Jordan 1 Mid features uh, similar design elements as the original but is updated with modern materials for a spin on the shoe that started an on-court sensation back in 1985. So it actually looks like uh, the first ever um, Air Jordan 1 that's called Air Jordan 1 Mid SE, right? Uh, it's made with a combination of premium leather and uh, synthetic materials for an iconic look. And as I've shown you a while ago, the finishing touch is this coveted Air Jordan Wings logo and swoosh adorning the side panel. Right there, really nice. That's again the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. I'll be wearing this soon. Alright, let's go and check out the next pair of shoes. Let me just put this guy back in the box. Uh, which one should I open first? Well, this one Air Jordan Legacy 312 Low. Let's switch the boxes. Just one sec. Alright, guys, this is the Air Jordan Legacy 312 Low. So it's low cut, as you can see. It's kind of mid cut silhouette, combines elements from the you know Air Jordan 1, Air Jordan 3, and the Alpha 4s made using you know genuine leather with synthetic and textile materials it's actually nice and the midfoot strap pairs with lace closure for a secure fit right there guys so it's got a strap right there there you go let me show you the inside there and of course it's got the jumpman logo there with air with the word air i mean Here's the bottom part or the sole, Jordan, really nice. I don't know if I'm going to use this while I play basketball. 
So that's the 312 low. I guess you guys are wondering why it's called the 312 low. Well, the 312 is a tribute to Chicago that's equally inspired by MJ and today's multifaceted youth. Its name references the 312 area code of the city of Chicago, as well as the shoe's juxtaposition of the Air Jordan 1 and 3. So that's why it's called 312. That's actually the postal code of um, Chicago. Alright guys, and this is also really nice. Oh, I don't know what this one came with with noodles. So it's just you know on the side of the box there. I'm checking is this like a desiccant, but it's not. It's got I don't understand how I don't understand Japanese, but this one definitely says uh, 387 kilocalories, so it's definitely food. I don't know why in the world it ended up in the box of the, of the shoe all right our last but not the least um, pair of shoes would be the air jordan one mid and this is inspired by the the later scholar obviously the blue and the i mean the purple and the gold all right so let's take this baby out wow it's Air Jordan 1, actually, but of course, it's uh, the Lakers colorway, right? So, it's got gold and purple, and of course, the Nike swoosh there, the Jumpman there, and the Air Jordan Wings logo on the side, and uh, that's the sole, the bottom. Really nice, really nice, actually. And uh, yeah, I don't know which one would be the first one I'll be wearing. Let me know. Put down a comment below. I'll show you all the, the shoes in a while. And put a, put a comment down below which one should I, um, you guys think I should wear first, okay? Just one sec. Alright guys, and here you go. Here are my new uh, Air Jordan shoes. Of course, the Air Jordan Legacy 312 Low. The Air Jordan 1 Mid SE and the Air Jordan 1 uh, Mid SE, but it's uh, Lakers inspired or Lakers uh, colorway. So let me know which one do you think is the best. All right, and I, which one should I wear first? All right, and do you guys actually wear this shoes for uh, in playing basketball when you're playing basketball? I'm just scared I might lose some value on uh, the value on the shoes. So let me know guys if you actually wear them when you go out and play basketball or you know do you actually even wear them alright this is my first time to actually get you know uh, Air Jordan shoes as a special as this ones because I, I, I used to have Air Jordans but I don't know what um, models they were I just wore them and I don't know now let me know guys what your thoughts are Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.